this backbone binding concept which we created uh, as a design strategy to combat drug resistance provided us a variety of very, very potent molecule, potent inhibitors, as I mentioned. One of these is here. Uh, the concept, conceptually, this backbone binding concept is basically, it's like you are making a molecule, and this molecule is a nothing but a molecular crab. It grabs onto the backbone of HIV protease. So indeed, crystallographically, we have shown that uh, this molecule, uh, this inhibitor, uh, throughout the active site, make robust hydrogen bonding uh, with the backbone. This concept eventually led us to design and develop the Runevir, and this happened to be the first treatment of drug resistant HIV. So we really believe this backbone binding concept is not only going to be useful here uh, for designing HIV protease inhibitors, but it would be also useful for a variety of other uh, uh, vir viral disease. It took us a long time to come up with Darunavir. We incorporated a number of very interesting uh, conceptual features in Darunavir to combat drug resistance. First of all, you have seen uh, that we have been making a lot of interesting natural products, and their natural product features that nature have been optimizing for, for a long time. So the one conception we came up with that we are going to incorporate those natural product feature into our design. For example, let's look at these two molecule, uh, monensine and ginkolite. And these molecules have provided a lot of inspiration for our design concept. Ginkolite is a uh, very important molecule it's a uh, pre-dinosaur era molecule, and nature has been optimizing features of ginkolite uh, for over millions of years. So we borrowed part of the structure of ginkolite and, and incorporated them into our design of Darunavir. So what I'm going to show you crystallographically, Darunavir packs enzyme active site very, very nicely. As I mentioned before, it packs and grabs onto the backbone just like a molecular crab. And all these dotted lines you're seeing here are key interactions with the backbone of HIV protease. Another very interesting feature of Darunavir, that left-hand side of this molecule is this bistetride of Huran. And this bistetride of Huran, which is shown here, is basically a subunit of ginkolite. And what we design here, the oxygens of this gink of this bistetridofuran, it anchors or grabs to the protein backbone based upon what we conceive this, uh, this backbone binding concept. So it actually binds to backbone very, very tightly. Another very interesting feature of Darunavir, it actually uh, binds to protease monomer, I've shown you earlier, very tightly. This is actually very, very important features of the Darunavir. It binds to monomer and inhibits dimerization. So in other words, Darunavir has dual mechanism of action. It inhibits dimeric enzyme, which is essential for uh, viral replication, and it also binds to monomer and prevents formation of dimer, and that is essential.